What is going on guys? Today we are going to be going over the best places to visit in Jasper National Park in Alberta, Canada. This is one of the most amazing places in the Canadian Rockies. There's so much to see. It's a super family friendly park to visit and it's definitely a must visit if you're going to be in this area. So let's dive right into my top 10 places to visit in Jasper National Park. First up is one of my favorite places in the Canadian Rockies, and this is Edith Cavill Glacier. And if you're gonna look for this hike on all trails for directions, it'll show up as Path of the Glacier Trail on all trails, and it is 1.1 mile round trip with 275 feet of elevation gain. This guy's taking a piss. All right, I've got a quick interruption to this top 10 video. If you just saw that previous clip, some asshole, excuse my language, was taking a pee in the glacier. I don't know who needs to hear this, but don't do that. That is so disrespectful, and I don't know why you'd think to do that. Don't do that, come on. All right, back to the top 10. Mount Edith Cavill is literally a tower in the sky. It feels like it's miles above the water. It's such a powerful mountain, and it actually tops out at 11,034 feet. You know, I couldn't believe it when I saw that guy do that, so please just remember to leave no trace when you're visiting these places so we can enjoy these places for decades and decades to come. Next up is gonna be Sun Wapta Falls, and if you would like to do this entire trail, it is two miles with 469 feet of elevation gain. And this is kind of just if you want to make this into a proper outing. But if you just want to see the waterfall, it is right next to the parking lot. So you're only going to be walking a few hundred feet if you want. There is a beautiful waterfall and a huge big canyon to walk along. And that's where you can find the lower Sun Wapta Falls. This is definitely a super iconic waterfall in Jasper National Park. Next up is going to be the Spirit Island Ferry, and this is probably the most famous and well-known spot in Jasper National Park. There's two ways to get to Spirit Island, the classic boat cruise ferry or a super gnarly kayaking trip. The ferry is open from May or early June and runs until the first week of October. If you do want to kayak to Spirit Island, it's going to be a huge 17 mile round trip day. Some people will do this as a multi-day kayak trip, however you're going to need permits for that and the campsites go super quick, so you need to plan that well in advance. And the regular boat tour that we did, this will cost between 60 and 100 USD per person. Next up is going to be Pyramid Island and Pyramid Lake. This is a super short and scenic 0.4 mile trip with 32 feet of elevation gain. Beautiful lake and you have surrounding views of the Canadian Rockies around you, which is awesome. We were actually here during fall foliage, so we got a ton of awesome bright yellow aspens and larches. I also definitely recommend stopping at the Pyramid Lake Resort. This is an awesome hangout area. There's tons of chairs, picnic tables. You can walk out onto the pier. Next up, number five, is Maline Canyon. This is a beautiful canyon hike that will take you across a handful of crazy waterfalls and beautiful views the entire way. There are five scenic bridges and this is an awesome afternoon activity. If you have two cars, you can park one at each end of the canyon. Otherwise, you'll have to do the full out and back hike, which is 2.7 miles and 465 feet of elevation gain, and that's round trip. So if you have a car at each trailhead, you can cut that in half and you can either choose to do the way where you go down or you can do the way where you have a bunch of elevation gain. But this is a beautiful, beautiful day hike. Next up is going to be Athabasca Falls, and this is another awesome and famous waterfall. It's just 0.6 miles with 82 feet of elevation gain. There's tons of walkways so you can move all around the waterfall and get a handful of different vantage points. Athabasca Falls is backdropped by Mount Kirkusland, and the waterfall runs right through the Athabasca River just off of the Icefields Parkway. It's definitely a must visit while you're in Jasper. And what I really like about this waterfall is that the walkways give you so many different vantage points, so many different unique views, and just an awesome way to move around and kind of see this waterfall.
Next up is just gonna be kind of a generalized stop and thing to do, and this is the Icefields Parkway. For most people, if you're gonna be going to Jasper, you're gonna be driving there via the Icefields Parkway from Banff. This is the highway that connects Jasper National Park and Banff National Park. It's one of the most scenic drives I have ever done in my life. The parkway is 142 miles of mountains, non-stop views the entire way, and is incredible. Quick note, make sure you fill up on gas because I think there's only one gas station the entire way, and it is like double the price that it should be. For good reason, it's super out there but definitely fill up your tank beforehand. Also, I would recommend waking up early if you're doing the drive because you're gonna want to stop a million times, and if you're lucky, you'll probably see a bunch of wildlife and even some bears. Number eight is going to be Athabasca Glacier, and this is pretty much at the entrance to Jasper National Park. It is a 0.9 mile hike with 200 feet of elevation gain. You will be surrounded by glaciers here, but you can hike right up to Athabasca Glacier and you can do the hike, you can take a bus tour onto the glacier, or you can even do some glacier travel with crampons and ice axes if you wanna book that adventurous tour. While this glacier is one of the most beautiful stops here, it's also pretty heartbreaking because they have signs along the way showing the receding of the glacier over the last few hundred years. It is a very enlightening hike, and I highly recommend reading all of the signs along the way to learn more, and it's kinda of just a wake up call to see what the warming of our planet is doing in real time. Number nine is going to be Moline Lake, and this is the most famous lake in Jasper. It is the lake that Spear Island is on, and is worth hanging out for the day regardless of if you do the Spear Island tour or not. It's famous for its watercolor, all of the peaks surrounding it, and the three glaciers that you can see from the lake. Moline Lake is 22 kilometers long, and surprisingly, it does actually freeze in the winter. It is the largest natural lake in the Canadian Rockies. And there's also a super, super dank waffle spot at the base of the lake, which I highly recommend checking out. Number 10 is Medicine Lake, and this is an awesome stop that's pretty close to the town of Jasper, and it's on the way to Moline Lake. You're gonna be driving alongside it the entire way. There's a handful of stops that you should definitely park at and enjoy. The lake is very interesting and dynamic. You're gonna find dead burned trees from forest fires, vibrant fall colors, river deltas, very deep, beautiful watercolor, and sinkholes in the lake. This lake kind of has it all in the history behind the sinkholes, it's super interesting. So you might see some of the lake dried up when you visit, and that is because of this. And that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you're going to Jasper National Park, I hope that this helps you in your trip planning. Please like and subscribe for more, and check out some of my other videos. Tons of travel all over. I hope to see you guys on a future video. Thank you.